Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Monica Sujitavant. Today we will discuss how to calculate calorific value by using bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter is used to determine the calorific value of solid and non-volatile liquid. First, we will see the principle. A known mass of solid or non-volatile liquid fuel is burned completely and the total heat liberated from the fuel is absorbed by the water present in the calorimeter, which is then measured accurately to calculate calorific value. Then construction of bomb calorimeter. It is made up of stainless steel pot or container, which is known as bomb. This bomb closed with lead fitted with screw and the lead is provided with two stainless steel electrode and oxygen wall. The one electrode is attached to the ring at the bottom on which crucible is placed. Another electrode at the end in the form of loop attached to the fuel. The bomb is placed into the calorimeter which filled with the known amount of water. The calorimeter is provided with stirrer and Beckman thermometer. To, provide, to prevent the loss of heat, the calorimeter is insulated by air and water jacket. We can diagrammatically represent bomb calorimeter in this way. Working. About one gram of accurately weighed fuel is placed in a crucible. Consider the amount of fuel is X gram. The bomb is closed and the oxygen is supplied through oxygen inlet wall at 25 atmospheric pressure. The bomb is then placed in copper calorimeter containing a known mass of water considered it as W. The initial temperature of water is noted that is T1. The electrodes are adjusted in such a way that spark is produced by the fuel fuse wire so that fuel start burning. The heat produced during the combustion of fuel will be absorbed in the water. The temperature of water is then recorded at regular intervals until a constant temperature is obtained. Then the final temperature of water is recorded, that is T2. These are the observations which are obtained in bomb calorimeter. First of all, mass of fuel sample taken is X gram. Mass of water taken in copper calorimeter is W gram. Water equivalent of calorimeter is equal to small w. Initial temperature of water is equal to T1 degree centigrade. Final temperature of water is equal to T2 degree centigrade. Heat liberated by burning of fuel is nothing but the calorific value, which is exactly equal to heat absorbed by the water and calorimeter. So, X into cross calorific value is equal to capital W plus small w into T2 minus T1. So, gross calorific value is equal to capital W plus small w into T2 minus T1 divided by X. We can calculate net calorific value equal to gross calorific value minus latent heat of water produced. So, no, net calorific value is equal to gross calorific value minus 0 0.09 into hydrogen percentage into 587 calorie per gram. To calculate the correct value of calorific value, we have to make some correction. These are the some correction which we have to make to calculate the exact value of calorific value. First one is fuse wire correction. High calorific value usually consists of heat liberated from fuse wires during the ignition of fuel. Therefore, it should be subtracted from high calorific value. Next one is acid correction. Sulfur and nitrogen, the fuel, if they are present, 
they on oxidation they are converted into acids like H2SO4 and HNO3 respectively. These reactions are exothermic. Therefore, this heat should be subtracted from high calorific value. Third correction which we have to make, it is cooling correction. After complete combustion of fuel, water form color meter is allowed to cool to room temperature and the rate of cooling per minute it is determined. It is added into the high calorific value. Thus, gross or higher calorific value can be calculated by using the corrected formula as high calorific value is equal to capital W plus small w into T2 minus T1 plus cooling correction minus acid correction plus fuse wire correction whole divided by x in calorie per gram or kilocalorie per kg. Thank you. If you like my video, kindly subscribe for more videos. Thank you.